All right, everybody, how about a total unplanned video again? I was going to make some uh, chili cheese fries tonight, and I thought, well, hell, I'll throw, it on. I'll throw it on camera. See if it turns out well or not, and we'll see. What I've got here is just, uh, just buy your favorite can of chili. If you want to make your homemade chili, make it, but uh, I'm not going to tonight. Just something real quick. It'll be a short video. I've got that heating up. I fried some bacon back there in the cast iron pan. This has been going for about 10 minutes. You can see it's getting separated pretty good. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to add this bacon grease. That's a little warm. Hang on one second guys and girls. Let's add this bacon grease to this chili. Yep, yeah, I've done this before. It makes it a little bit gooder. A little bit gooder. Yeah, it's probably about dry. I think it's a pretty good uh, a tablespoon anyway, I guess. Get that off there. It's like I so. Now over here, well, let's get something to mix that up with. That'll work. Now, if you clicked on this video to fuss and say how unhealthy it is, well, you're right. It's not a health food. So, why would you click on the video that said chili cheese fries to begin with? <laughs> gotcha. Alright, over here, in this little pot, I've got uh, two tablespoons of butter melted up. Let's bring it back up to heat. Bring you guys over here. Do it like that. Kind of dark, it uh, looks like to me. But anyway, when it comes back to up to heat, well, I think it's coming up right now. It's not been off very long. I'm going to add in a healthy pinch of flour. Bam! Pow! 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 Just like that. Or something like that. You find something to stir this up with. Turn the heat down to about medium. Get that flour and that butter cooking it up. A lot of you guys have already seen me make cheese sauce. A lot of people haven't. I've got a lot, a lot of new subs lately. So we're going to make a basic, like a little roux. Get that flour cooked up. And when I think it's done, probably two or three minutes, we'll be back. Okay, it's been about uh, three minutes. I switched some stuff around. Maybe the lighting's a little bit better now, but the, the butter and the flour. I've got to know each other pretty good. Let's go add some milk to it. Probably enough. If not, add more. You can always add more, but you can't take away. Let's turn the heat up. We're going to bring this boy up to a, a boil. Boil. Then we're going to reduce it. In the meantime, I'm going to drop some french fries in the fryer. Mm-hmm. It's going to be good. Alrighty, now you can see that our flour, uh, butter, and milk has come to a boil. Now, I've been on a pepper jack cheese kick lately, so this is going to be a pepper jack cheese chili cheese fries tonight. Let's add in a few pieces. Put it in three. Give it time to do its thing down there. It melted it real good. I think about five pieces will do it. We got our fries over there deep frying. If you want to make your own fries, by all means, go ahead. Get your potato, cut it up, deep fry it, or throw it in the oven. Make some tater wedges. Chili, chili cheese fried tater wedges. How about that? Alright, that's looking pretty good. Go ahead and throw in two more pieces. That'll be plenty for our cheese sauce. If you ever try to make cheese cheese sauce this way, you'll try it. It turns out good every time. American cheese, cheddar cheese, pepper jack cheese. It's just a good cheese sauce. Mm -hmm. Just like I so. 
fries are done. There you go. Mmm, crispy goodness. Let's build this sucker real quick. Now, if you guys want to get really creative, you get onions, uh, green onions, uh, a can of road tail tomatoes would be awesome. But I'm just using what I got as usual. So let's get some of this chili. Put it, oh yeah, just like that. Just like that. So I got our own tea. It's gonna be good. Something like that. Now I've made this before. I made it several different ways. You know, you can buy the shredded cheese. And then at this step right here, once you get the, the, the chili put on there, you add the shredded cheese and then stick it in the oven for a while until the uh, cheese gets melted. But I like my cheese sauce like this. Yeah, like I so. And we'll put just a little bit over the top of this. Pepper jack cheese. Add as much or as little as you like. How about just a little bit more? Because we got plenty. That's plenty. Now I mentioned bacon earlier. I fried up some bacon, crumbled it up, and then we throw some of that on top of this, just like that. Oh, buddy, what you talking about? How about a little bit more? We got a little bit more. A little bit more. Pow! How about that? Pow! Pow! <laughs> I think that looks pretty good. Now, if I wanted to, I guess I could throw it in the oven on broil and try to get like a brown topping on it, but uh, it's done. And my battery is about dead. So, let's give us a taste test. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. All right, I'm not going to show my face tonight because I'm too pretty. You know, when you're too pretty, you just can't do that every time. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Give that a try. I dare you to say you don't like it. Now, you don't have to use pepper jack cheese. Use any cheese you want. But follow that recipe that I did with the butter and the flour. And the milk. I'll get one more. Oh, that's a good bite right there. It's not healthy. It's a thumb down for hell. But it's a thumbs up for goodness. Thanks, guys. Bye.